I have a combi oven that's having issues with the cleaning cycle. So we're going to go over all the components and everything here. So as you can see, the first sign is the doors, the glass doors dirty. That's usually the first thing that gets kind of clean. And the whole cavity is really dirty at this point. All right, so we're going to go through all the components in the cleaning cycle and we're going to figure out exactly why this oven is not cleaning correctly. It's a self-cleaning oven, so we should not be having any of these issues. Uh, this oven should be very clean, very shiny. So let's see what's going on. All right, so I pulled up the service manual here. We're going to go through all the components and what they do. Now there is a clean jet test. Um, I only use that if I'm chasing an error code or if I want to see if there's a water leak during the cleaning cycle through the door gasket, this is a good way to test it. It's only a 30 minute test, but I find you can't really pinpoint the issues through that test. The relay mode is way more reliable and we're going to get through all that. So let's just quickly go through the sequence and what everything's going to do. Okay. So it's going to tell us to put it in and put in a cartridge. Okay. And then, our siphon pump's going to run and our K12 solenoid, quenching solenoid is going to run. We're going to fill up the box basically. And then we're going to pump with our G16 pump. Okay. And then we're going to heat the oven to 55 degrees Celsius. Uh, there is a steam mode function in that. So we have to make sure the steam is working on the oven. And then basically we're going to start cleaning the fan motor and the G16 pump are going to run. And then we're going to heat to 70 Celsius. And then so on and so forth. And then we're going to remove the water from the quenching box and refill it via the G24 pump and that quenching solenoid valve. And then we're going to heat the cavity to 92 Celsius. And then that's basically where we start our final rinse and drying process. So let's go through what all the components do exactly. That's kind of a rundown of what it's doing. All right, so let's just go into a bit more detail, everything that I just explained. Let's break it down. Let's know what the components are. So we have our solenoid K12 valve. We have our G16 pump, which is our wave king pump. And we have our G24 pump, which is our siphon pump. So basically what's going to happen here is uh, this solenoid is going to fill up the quenching box right here. Okay. And then this pump it's going to pump all the water out. We're going to pump water out of the box down into the drain right into here. Why we're doing that? We want clean water in that box, okay? This pump right here is going to be circulating water throughout the cavity, okay? This one right here, our G16. We do not want dirty water in there, okay? So several times throughout the cleaning cycle process, we're going to be dumping water out of the quenching box okay so we have fresh water so the first thing we want to test is going to be this solenoid right here okay so we're going to go into our relay mode and we're going to run our k12 solenoid all right so we're going to run our relay number four which is our quenching solenoid and we're going to start filling up the box here so you can see right here we have power there's our k12 quenching solenoid and you should hear water pouring out of the drain. Okay, in our case here, the water is flowing, filling very slowly. It should have been dumping down that drain right here. We have an issue already. All right, so first issue there. So I did get the drain box filled. It just took forever to do so. So next, we're going to test our siphon pump right here, which is dumping that dirty water down the drain. So we activate that through the relay mode. It's going to bring water out of the box. And it's going to put it right into our drain. All right, so we're gonna locate our G24 siphon pump, which is just down here. We're gonna to go to the relay mode. We're gonna activate relay number five. We're gonna run this pump. As you can see, we do have power there and it should be dumping down the drain and you can hear it, it's dumping really fast. That pump is working as it should be. All right, so our siphon pump is working. I wanna test this uh, wave clean pump next. But we have no water in this box, right? We just dumped it down the drain. So we're going to go activate our K12 solenoid one more time, fill the box up, and then we're going to dump the water into the oven cavity. So it comes up through here, here, right here, right here, and dump it right into the cavity. 
All right, so we're gonna go fill our quenching box again, which is our R4 solenoid. And here, as we said earlier, it's taking forever to fill. I'm just gonna hit fast forward. I'm almost one minute to fill this quenching box. This thing should be filled in under 20 seconds for sure. It should probably be around 10, 15 seconds. I should hear water coming out of this drain. And we still have no water down the drain. We're around the one minute mark at this point. And now water's slowly coming out of the drain here. So that's taking way too long to fill. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and test this solenoid to see what the issue is. So you can see there is little to no flow here. Okay, so we do have two inlet water screens. We wanna check them. We wanna make sure they are not plugged. This thing should be filling the bucket very quickly. So first thing is we're gonna take the screen out of here and someone's put the uh, screen upside down so you can't even grab the tab with your pliers. So that's how the tab should be, okay? It should be facing downwards. You can see that one's a little bit dirty. I'm not overly concerned about it, but we will get it cleaned out, okay? Here's the screen in the solenoid. We're gonna pull that one out as well. And there, that's what I was talking about, the tab facing you so you can just pull it out. So make sure you're putting in those screens the correct orientation. Uh, this one here too, not super dirty, but let's get everything cleaned out. And reassemble. So we've reassembled. So this is how I test the solenoid, okay? This is very important. When you turn on the oven, we're gonna call for quenching, okay? It calls for about 10, 15 seconds. This is how I test how much water, if we have enough water. Okay, that bucket should be filling at least a quarter of the way, if not half of the way. Okay, so this is the true test to see if that solenoid is working as it should be. In this case, it is not. All right, so let's go run this wave clean pump. As you can see, the door's open, it will not run. We've closed it. Okay, obviously you can't see in here now. So what we wanna do is put a magnet on the door here. So the sensor's just below this door catch. Okay, and we have no water flowing. Okay, the quenching box is filled. We refilled the quenching box at this point. There should be water flowing out of here. So either we have a bad pump or we have a restriction somewhere. So next thing we're gonna do is pull off this tubing here that goes from the pump to the cavity. Let's see if anything's plugged. Let's see what's going on here. So we'll take everything apart. We'll go flush it in the sink and see exactly where our issue is. All right, so we got the tubing off. And we're just gonna take a peek inside of this pump here. And you can see it's plugged with grease in there, okay? I just checked that water manifold quickly at the top. It does not have grease in it. So we're gonna go ahead and get this guy cleaned out. Okay, you can see there, it's completely plugged. All right, so we'll clean it out. Make sure you don't get the electrical components wet when you're cleaning this thing out. Just be careful of that. Okay, we're gonna check our tubing. And our tubing's very clear. There's nothing stuck in the tubing, which is a good sign. So we're gonna go back ahead, reassemble everything, and fill up our quenching box one more time, which is gonna take time because we know that uh, R4, R4 solenoid is not working, or the K12 R4 relay solenoid is not working. So let's just hit the fast forward here. Let's get this quenching box filled up and let's test this pump now and see what happens now that there are no more obstructions in any of the lines or in the pump. So it's running really good and then it's slowing down. Okay, I'm not getting full pressure. That pressure is way too low to clean this oven. Okay, so I'm going to run it again and you can see, look at all the water coming out and it's good for like two seconds. Okay, so that tells me the pump is weak because we have full water inside that quenching box, okay? So it's only pumping for two seconds and then the pump is just not failing but we're not getting full flow. Here's another look at it. Okay, we should have way more flow. We should have full flow the entire duration of while this pump is running. All right, so our gasket's torn, so that means water's gonna be leaking. That's why we have so much 
grease down here, okay? If water's leaking during the cleaning cycle, it'll go on the floor, which means we're not pumping it back up. And we want to make sure all of our door bumpers are here, okay? In this case, we're missing one. There you go, dead center on the right-hand side. Okay, and the final thing we want to make sure is the steam mode is working. In this case, it is working. All right, so we're back here today now with the parts. We're going to go water off. We're going to start by changing this quenching solenoid. Okay, we're just going to hit fast forward here. Okay, you want to make sure the screen is installed there. You want to make sure the tab's facing downwards. Okay, and you want to make sure the O-ring is in good condition there. There's a black O-ring in there. All right, so we're going to put the water back on. We're going to test this solenoid, okay? So remember, when we turn on the oven, this is when we like to test our K12 quenching solenoid. Okay, we're going to measure how much water's in this bucket. And look at the flow. Way better than before. Okay, that's why we were having problems definitely before. We were not filling the quenching box enough during the cleaning cycle. If we have low water in the quenching box, that G16 pump can only move so much water. So we're going to have low pressure coming out of that pump. Okay, and this is why I like to test it this way. Because it just ran for 10-15 seconds. And then I will compare this and see how much water is in there. And that's how I know how much water needs to be in there if the solenoid's working. Just because the solenoid has water coming through, it does not mean it is working correctly. Okay? So look at the water quantity in here. Look at my bucket. It's half full. Okay? So now I know how to compare it when I'm doing other calls for troubleshooting. I need that level there. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's fill this quenching box with our solenoid, our X12 solenoid. So you can see we have power here on the solenoid. And look at that. We already have water coming down the drain. Okay? Next, we're going to test our pump, which we've changed. And look at that. We have full flow coming out of this pump. Look at that water pressure. That is excellent pressure. It's not just going for two seconds and then and then slowing down okay it's going the full duration of when we're holding the button and that's what we need for full flow okay if we have low flow we're only going to clean a certain section of the oven we're not going to get to the far walls so that flow is super important and as you can see it is really good the flow on this one right here yeah, alright so we're going to make sure we have no leaks so what happens on this oven we see it a lot this Motor control board gets soaked, okay, if we have grease leaks or any water leaks anywhere. So we're going to make sure we have no leaks. We've ran all the pumps. Okay, we're all good. We're going to run a full clean cycle here just to make sure that all the components are working. And look at that. Oven is super clean, okay. There's a couple of this stuff here that they got to scrub off just because the oven hasn't been cleaned in a while. But that's what a clean oven should look like, okay. Look at the door. You can see right through the glass. All right, so as you can see, uh, we actually had two of the components, the G16 pump and the K12 quenching solenoid. They were working, but they were not working correctly. So it is important that you get a visual and you see how the pumps and the solenoids are supposed to work. So a lot of people do not check that K12 solenoid to see how much water it's dumping in the box. If there's not enough water in that quenching box, okay, the G16 pump will bring water up. It's going to bring it back through the drain cavity. And it's going to come back into the quenching box. It's going to have to wait like 5, 6, 10, 15 seconds for enough water. So it's super important that you measure the quantity of water that's coming out of that solenoid. Okay. Secondly, you need to make sure that G16 pumps working correctly. So that means removing your fan shroud. Okay. Removing the racks and visually looking at the pump. Just because it's moving water doesn't mean it's moving enough water. Okay. And lastly, that G24 pump, that siphon pump. A lot of people overlook that pump. So if you go to a call and you see the quenching box is backed up, okay, I'm guaranteeing that G24 pump has failed, okay. If that pump is not moving water out of the quenching box, that greasy water just becomes like a whole chunk of grease and slowly starts building up and building up to the point where the oven actually starts leaking out of the quenching box P-trap. So it's very important that you check those three components and understand how they work 